Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion, and we'll be looking at the ASUS Rampage 3 Black Edition BIOS setup. As you can see up in the top right hand corner it shows the version number. This is an American Megatrends uh, BIOS, version 2.61. In the BIOS we have Extreme Tweaker, Main, Advanced, Power, Boot, Tools, and Exit. We'll take a look at the Extreme Tweaker first. And as you can see right now, I have it on the GPU DIMM post. And this actually shows what slots are populated on your motherboard, your PCIe slots and your DIMM slots. As we scroll down, we will see the Extreme OC profiles. You can OC your motherboard via the BIOS uh, with CPU level up. It gives you two options to do that, and I'll show you that in a second. But make sure if you're going to overclock that you have your AI overclocking tuner at least at manual. There are different settings, auto, XMP, and of course CPU level up. Right now on CPU level up I have it on 4 gigahertz. Um, you have two settings, 4 and 4.2. This is a 980X Intel Core i7 that I'm using in this specific system. As we scroll down, we see the two 2D performance booster, your CPU clock settings or multiplier settings, your turbo boost. Uh, basically, I have this disabled since I am overclocking the CPU. You could go into the CPU configuration, and of course, it'll give you your advanced options in CPU configuration. all your states, speed step technology, etc. As we scroll up, we'll see that we have base clock frequency, which is set to 133. You have a base clock enhance, which is set to auto. PCIe frequency, I have that set to 100. My DRAM frequency, and let's go up a little farther. The unclock frequency is set to auto, auto and QPI data link rate. There is a memory recheck on this and the DRAM timing control, which if you hit that will show you your timing controls of your, uh, of your RAM. Now we get into our QPI and PCIe tuning. We have strength for the CPU QPI first two slots of the PCIe and the last two slots. You have a CPU differential amp amplitude, CPU clock skew, IOH clock. All these can be set to different uh, settings. Under your Digi, DigiVRM, you'll see we have the DigiVRM duty control. I have it on T-Probe right now, uh, which was automatically set by uh, choosing the extreme uh, level up. PWM voltage is auto, load line calibration, CPU voltage over uh, current protection, PWM frequency, and phase control, of course. You do have an extreme overvolt and an extreme OC mode. If we go down, this is where you can set your voltages for your CPU, PLL, DRAM, DRAM voltage on your bus, IOH, PCIe, ICH, and ICH PCIe. As we scroll lower to the bottom, ASUS OC profile, if you click on that, I do have one profile stored. Uh, I had this actually running at 4.4 gigahertz. I decided to save, the, save that profile for when I want to run that. So all I need to do is actually just choose that specific profile, hit OK, reboot my system, and I'm getting 4.4 gigahertz. CPU spread spectrum and PCIe spe spread spectrum. Under your main, of course, you're going to have your time, your system date language, storage configuration, which I have in AHCI mode at this time. AHCI configuration. It'll show you your boot time for your hard disk and for your CD-ROM, etc. 
and your system information. Moving over to the advanced section, we have our CPU configuration, which you could also, also uh, get while you're in the uh, extreme tweaker. And as we go down, it's just basic, your basic functions for your speed step, your hardware prefetch, your virtualization technology, etc., and your C states. For your chipset, Intel VTD configuration. And I have that disabled at this time. Onboard devices configuration. This is where you take care of your high, your high definition audio, your SATA controllers, SATA 6, your USB, and the Bluetooth Wi-Fi, which is also a standard feature on the Rampage 3 Black Edition motherboard. USB configuration. PCI plug and play, LED controls. These LED controls, the, the motherboard itself has LEDs on it. You can enable them, you can enable them or disable them. The IROG configuration. This is the Republic of Gamers configuration. Uh, basically, what it is is you can you can use your the monitor in through Windows or through your phone, connect to it, and automatically automatically record and keep uh, states that you have for your operation time. And the ROG Connect, the Connect will enable you to overclock, to change settings via either your computer in the Windows atmosphere or via your your new uh, smartphone. If we go over to power, you can see we have a suspend mode, repost video, ACPI support, APM configuration. This is all for power. Hardware monitor. You have a voltage monitor. Temperature monitor. Fan speed monitor. Fan speed controller. When we go to the boot, the boot will show your boot device priority, your hard disk drives, boot settings configuration, quick boot, full screen logo, add-on, etc. And your security. That's if you want to set a passwords for your BIOS. Under the tools section, this is where you could go to the easy flash, so you can flash your BIOS, your OC profile, your go button profile, and the BIOS flashback. You can flash back to a saved BIOS. And then, of course, our exit, where we can save our changes, discard our changes, load setup defaults, etc. We'll go ahead and save our changes. And the computer will boot up, and that has been it on the BIOS for the ASUS Rampage 3 Black Edition motherboard. Thank you, and we will see you next time.